Okay, so this is Thursday's drill, and this is going to be the Samba. Samba is a really fun dance, and um, today I'm going to be working on some rotation, so turning. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put on some music and do some with music and demo, and then I'll come back and do the instructional part. All right, ready to Samba. Okay, so here we go, Samba. So here is the instructional part of the samba, and if you can see that today's samba is all about rotating and turning, and these are really fun uh, drills to do, especially if you're not used to turning too much. Uh, and the good thing is that I'm going both directions, so you get to wind up and unwind. And I did it two ways in the demo. I did it with one rotation and then one rotation back the other way, and then I did the advanced part, which is two rotations, so it's a lot of turn, but for those of you who'd like a challenge. So um, here's what's gonna happen um, with the hoop, actually, I'll do the hoop first this time to change it up. So I'm just really gonna be bringing the hoop up for the first part of the first rotation, let me go back a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring it back down on the second part. And so I'm going to count in samba one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four for one direction. And then when I go the second direction, I'm going to count five, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight. Now I'm not going to turn yet, but I'm just going to show you that the hoop is going to slowly go up one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. We'll go back a little bit. You can raise it up as high as you want. And then back down on five and six and seven and eight. And again, you could bend down and even go lower on this. I'll try, I didn't demo that, but I'll show you that too. So here's the, what, uh, so that's pretty easy. So it's just going up and down. Then when I did the faster ones, it, it did a faster up and down, and I'll show you that. But again, it's just going up and down, and I'm trying to keep the hoop very horizontal. It looks better than dipping forward and back, all right? So now what the feet are doing is, I'm gonna take the hoop away so that it's not a distraction for a second. And this is what the feet are doing. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see my feet. And I'm gonna start again with the right foot because we're doing the ladies part. And this is exactly what she would do if she was dancing it with a real life partner. So I'm gonna go one, with my right foot. And if you notice, I'm starting to turn to the right. One, and then I'm gonna use the ball of the left foot. So it'll always be ball of the left foot, whole foot, or we actually call it ball flat with the right. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna just say flat, flat, and then the left foot is gonna be ball flat, ball, flat, ball, flat. So I'm gonna actually do it without any turn first. So right foot is flat, left foot is ball, flat, ball, flat, ball, flat. Then I'm gonna go with the left foot and go flat. Right foot is gonna be on the ball only. Ball, flat, ball, flat, ball, flat. And normally my legs would be a little closer, but I'm trying to get you to see it. So it looks again like this. Right foot is flat. Left foot is ball flat, ball flat, ball flat. Left foot goes flat. Right foot, ball flat, ball flat, ball flat. So the count without turning again is one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four. Then I put the left foot down on five, a uh, six, a uh, seven, a uh, eight. So it's one, 
a two, a three, a four, five, a six, a seven, a eight. Now when I put that into the turn, I start rotation. One, a two, a three, a four. Turn the other way. Five, a six, a seven, a eight. So one, a two, a three, a four. The other way. Five, a six, a seven, a eight. When I do that with the hoop, I'm going to go one, a two, a three, a four. It went up. Now bringing it down. Five, a six, a seven, a eight. So I can go way up. I'm going to move back and way down if I want. One, a two, a three, a four. Oops, sorry, I just did two turns. Let's do that again. One, a two, a three, a four. And then I can go as low as I want. Five, a six, a seven, a eight. One, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, a seven, a eight. So you can bend down or just stay level, whatever range feels good to you. Okay, so I'm going to do it with my back to you one time so that you can see. One, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, a seven, a eight. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to actually do a mirror image. So if you look at me, I'm going to be like your reflection in the mirror. So you're going to your right, which would be that way, and I'm going to my left. So we're going one, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, a seven, a eight. Okay, so sometimes that helps too. Now this is the advanced version. And this is going to be two turns. So this is quite a bit of rotation, but again, you get to go both ways, so that helps unwind. So I'm going to do the same thing with the feet, but when I kind of paddle around with the ball of the foot, I'm going to have to push myself around a lot more. So in slow motion, it'll look like this. One, a two. I already got her almost all the way around. A three, a four. So really what I'm doing is a half turn one half turn, a two, another half turn, a three, another half turn, a four, all the way around. One, a two, a three, a four, one, a two, a three, a four. So I would go up, a two, a three, a four, up, a two, a three, a four. So I went up and down all in one. So I went up and down, up and down. So I just did that faster, because everything was going faster, so I did this at a faster rate also. But you can also do it slower, or you can make up anything you want. This is to just give you imp uh, some inspiration to create whatever you want. And having a basis to start that with, just to give you some ideas, can be really helpful. Okay, thanks. One more dance for tomorrow. Bye. Samba.